Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Now we're checking out The Predator, the original Years Omnibus, published by Marvel Comics. Um, very iconic uh, Chris Warner cover here um, for, the, for the first uh, spin-off series. And there's the back of the book there. Now, it's not all the covers, but it's pretty much just picking out like the uh, first issue, or I guess the best issue for each of the, the miniseries. Um, obviously a lot of this material was first printed by Dark Horse. Uh, comics in the late 80s or throughout the 90s uh, who had the license for it uh, but you know since Disney bought 20th Century Fox now they get to pump out all the Predator stuff as well as Aliens take the dust jacket off here you got a pretty cool wraparound cover nice painted image actually quite a fan of these chunky Predators um, but yeah it's epic stuff here I haven't read all the material in here, uh, but the first series, uh, which we'll dive into straight away, I've uh, read quite a bit, a <laughs> fair few times over the years. Uh, it's got an adaptation of uh, Predator 2, the movie, uh, but Predator 2 is pretty much heavily inspired off uh, this first uh, four issue miniseries as well, because it is set in New York. Uh, there's an epic Chris Warner cover as well there with the original colours. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll get into it, um, you know, pretty much street gangs are getting mutilated. They think it's each other that's doing it, but of course we know it is a predator. And there's these brutal slain, you know, they're being skinned and hung. Uh, this guy here is uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's um, older brother. Um, if you've seen the original Predator movie, obviously you know uh, Schwarzenegger plays Dutch. Uh, and this is his older brother, I think it's John Schaefer, if I remember correctly. Um, and yeah, he's just the ultimate alpha male. That's what we like to see. Uh, gorgeous artwork. Uh, pretty much here's like the military guy, uh, like the guy that sent um, Dutch out in the mission and pretty much, uh, you know, he's kind of aware of all, all the type of killings going on. And as our boy investigates here, he gets backhanded by a predator. And yeah, just such an... Iconic shot there. And it's like, this dude's just such a fucking chad. He just goes one-on-one -on -one with a predator. Like, no guns or anything. Just, like, hand-to-hand -hand combat. You know, rips off his mask and reveals the, uh... Gorgeousness underneath. And he pretty much just gets fucking, like, roadhouse, roundhouse kick. Fucking <laughs> Patrick Swayze-style straight out of a building. And that's how, yeah, your first issue ends. Um, so, yeah, it's just high testosterone stuff. Uh, the writing's actually pretty good as well, you know, as to be expected. It's, you know, you, you got your cheesy 80s and 90s action elements in here. Um, but if you're a diehard fan of the Predator films, uh, especially the first two, yeah, you're going to feel right at home with this. Anyway, you got our boy here just investigating where uh, his brother went to the jungle and pretty much just encountering some more Predators. Uh, you, it's cool here, you get stories throughout different periods of time as well. Um, so, you know, not to, so obviously uh, suggesting that the Predators uh, have been to Earth before, uh, even before um, Predator 1. That's just epic. I always liked as well when the Predators like recorded human speaking and then, then played it back. Like Mother of God. Badass imagery. Like this here as well, he just starts appropriating like predator weapons. And some of these Dark Horse Presents uh, stories were done in black and white. And that's gorgeous artwork there as well. Uh, these are like little short stories. Yeah, real gorgeous stuff. Uh, here's the adaptation of Predator 2. Got these like nice like watercolor type of uh, colors. Uh, obviously you've seen Predator 2 the movie, Danny Glover's the main character. And yeah, gore as you can imagine what would be in a Predator comic. I 
I feel like doing the Predators, like, heat vision would be a nightmare to try and draw and colour. That looks great there. I always wanted to get the Predator action figures that NECA made, but uh, I never really got into action figures, but I like seeing the different types of Predators, like the jungle ones and, you know, the, the leaders and <laughs> snow Predators and shit like that. I just think it's just such a solid design. We'll flip through, through here a bit some more. That's a really cool uh, way of doing the artwork for like when he's like in his uh, invisible mode. His cloak. Nice gory imagery right there. Yeah, and just the stories are pretty much like as you'd expect. Like people go somewhere. Predators there, they're getting mowed down, <laughs> one by one. It's a formula that's uh, tried and true and we love it. Yeah, it's savage as fuck. Painted artwork covers. As you can see, there's been quite a different uh, bunch of art styles throughout this thing, but they've all been really consistent and um, they've all been really good. Um, obviously, some better than others, but as a whole, they've just been fantastic. I always love the little bow staffs that they have as well. Just impaling motherfuckers. I don't know if I'll get volume two. Um, I don't know what it will collect, but uh, probably will. Um, <laughs> I say like I'm designing, but yeah, I almost probably definitely will get it. And here's some more of these. Uh, I think this one here, if I can remember correctly, was in Russia. So obviously Cold War tension still around this time period. I think this comic rite of passage, if I remember, is wordless. Yeah, it's a wordless comic. Um, but the, uh, the the art and storytelling throughout is really good. That's so badass. Just hiding there in the shadows, just holding a fucking skull. You're gonna see human beings just getting destroyed in all sorts of uh, manners. The predators don't fuck around. Yeah, that's badass. Just almost every page, like as like a, a dope. Image. Oh man, talk about like tribal tattoo that you'd see on dudes like <laughs> in the 90s and early 2000s get tattooed on them. Look at all this mayhem. It's a great uh, painted cover there. I remember this story. It's I think it's set in the fifties or sixties. I can't remember the exact decade. Um, but. You know, the kid puts on a pair of 3D glasses because it's when those like movies at the drive-in theater were, were coming through um, and he can see the outline of the predator um, and uh, yeah as you can imagine seeing that uh, and being a kid would be some pretty intense sort of stuff right there but um, you get a boy Dutch back and I believe this is the first one in here that's starting to be digitally colored 
Dark River, yeah. Love these uh, colours as well here. Uppercutting dudes. Kindred. We'll start flipping to the back matter. Uh, some of the stories connect, uh, some of them are like standalone, uh, like one shots. Um, but if you've never really read a Predator comic before, you, yeah, or you're not familiar with the universe at all, you can just jump straight into this. It's uh, the, basically the starting point. Awesome covers here. Always a big fan of skulls. Chris Warner's artwork, he just draws the sickest predators in my opinion. Looks like a couple of uh, trade paperback covers in, in that. Uh, yeah, there's the uh, Brian Selfries artwork that we saw in the uh, our hardcover itself. It's just the first two pictures, obviously, it's a full comic. That's for that Cold War comic. Love seeing the uh, inked artwork. Uh, for Predator issue one by Chris Warner. And you're gonna get some pages. I love to own some uh, original artwork. Looks like a uh, trade paperback collections. Uh, looks like you got some back matter here about the movie. I believe this is for the. Yeah, this is the Omnibus cover. I think that is for the standard edition cover. I think I've got the direct market. Um, I usually don't care which one I get, but between the two of them, uh, that other one's badass, but this is just so iconic, so I had to get this one. Um, but yeah, anyway, there's the Predator, the original year's Omnibus. Uh, just, yeah, amazing stuff if you're a Predator fan. It's just heaven. As always, thanks for watching, and yeah, take care.